Hello, my name is Sandra. And I'm Lewis. With First Class RV Adventures, and welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to spend a few minutes with you today just to talk a little bit about the fear that most people have dumping their black tank. <laughs> Surviving oh. the black tank dump. Ugh. So, want to get us started? <laughs> He's so, the professional. <laughs> the number one tip that we're going to give you guys today is picking your TP. Um, when we first started, we didn't know that we had to use septic safe toilet paper um, at a lot of uh, uh, RV resource stores like Camping World and stores like that. Um, they will have specifically RV toilet paper. Now, you don't necessarily have to buy their RV toilet paper, but if you go to Walmart, any other superstore or anything like that, you will find septic safe toilet paper. And a good way to test that toilet paper is to... The best way, yeah, that we have learned, it actually was from where we purchased our RV in their little store. She said you grab a cup and you put like a couple pieces in there, you know, a couple of the pieces sheets. of TP. <laughs> I forgot what they're called, plies or something? Plies, sheets. You take a few, put them in water and see how quickly they disintegrate because that's what makes it safe for the RV plumbing, that it disintegrates into basically nothing. So that is the test that we do and we personally have found that we like Scott's the most, Scott's septic safe one, but you know, it's all preference <laughs> and what you like, but Scott's for us is less expensive than buying the specifically RV one. I and guess. we could buy it in bigger bolts too. Yes, it's not just a couple, like a set of four normally is what they, normally what they come in. Right. So that's what we get, but there's other ones out there that say septic safe. Just test it out to make sure it's not a marketing thing of theirs. That it really is septic safe because this plumbing is not like your house plumbing. So you want to make sure you do not clog up and have another mess to deal with in RV life. <laughs> Tip number two for today is going to be to flush your black tank first all right i got a little rhyme for mine and oh, it's yeah. black is in the back okay so where my two valves are <laughs> my back one is for my black tank and sandra kept <laughs> dumping the wrong uh, tank when we first started so i came up with a little nursery rhyme that she could remember easy <laughs> enough and um to this day she hasn't really dumped the black tank until the other day <laughs> where she was like, I need to learn this <laughs> after 27 months. I finally want to know how to dump my tank. So we taught her that. But definitely um, dump your black tank first. That way, um, you know, once your black has gone through the hose, you could actually dump your gray and your gray will push any remnants of any black tank <laughs> waste uh. left behind. So um, that's an excellent tip for number two. Yes, and something that... I recently learned the official name is the Geo Method, and I know the Chickories have a really good video out there about that, but basically that's what I did the other day when he taught me how to hook up and do it myself. Basically is flush the black, flush the gray, and then I closed the black valve and I filled it up with the no fuzz faucet that not every RV has it, but if yours doesn't have it, you can actually find a video on how to install one. And basically, it's, you use a separate hose if you want, you put it up, you fill up the black tank with this fresh water, and then you open up the black again and flush out, and then I kept doing that, so I let it fill for about five minutes, I actually put a timer on, and then I would release and let it flush, and then i do it again. I did it about three or four times, and I think four, until it was totally clear running through the hose. So, a lot of people don't like the clear end at the, you know, sewer, something we like it because we like to see when it's running clear we're weird <laughs> i mean we don't sit there and stare at it but we know when it's running clear we are good to go so right it's not uh, another thing you want to keep in mind <laughs> with these dumps and flushing and all that it they're gravity fed right so um if you don't have a fuss flood flush flush what we recommend <laughs> to do is just to fill up your black or gray until it reaches the top I know that sounds cuckoo, but literally, um, <laughs> it's, good. 
if you do that and if you do it after some travel time you will get all that stuff all nice and <laughs> you know stirred up real juicy and fresh right <laughs> that way it will actually drain out of there a lot quicker and faster when we first started RVing we didn't know that it was gravity fed and we would just keep our valves open while we were hooked up and eventually some particles got in the way <laughs> of my valves where they won't close all the way all right, so keep that in mind if you guys are out there, first time RVers. Yes, enzymes. So this is something that you can look up a natural way on Pinterest. You could just type in natural enzymes for my RV toilet and they'll pop up a bunch of things. So, or you could buy the ones that are already, they have them at Walmart or RV stores. They're little packs or some are bottled. You basically just dump that after you've dumped everything and those enzymes eat away anything because you're not inside your t your tank scrubbing it you know <laughs> physically so these enzymes help with that that way it prevents odors from coming back into the rv when you open up the tanks to flush so that is something and then the other thing that we like to do that we learned recently is to put a little bit like a cap full of fabric softener yes for the laundry you put that a little bit in there and it actually does help because when you're driving around it's like he said you know, with the travel and the movement, it's flushing around in Stirring there. Stirring <laughs> the pot. Stirring the pot, yes. <laughs> so enzymes and softener. Um, other thing is we have two bathrooms, so I'll let you take this one. <laughs> yes, we have two bathrooms, and our back bathroom does not have a fuss flutz, a fuss flush. <laughs> Trying to say that 10 times. Fuss flush, fuss flush, fuss flush. Yeah, yeah, that ain't gonna work. So it doesn't have a fuss flutz, so fuss. <laughs> Fuss flush. So what we have to Fuss do flush. is literally hand the holes with this device at the end where looks interesting. it goes down in the sewer in the toilet and it basically it acts like a fuss flut whereas it sprays in different directions and it rinses out the pipe. But we do the same thing. We just um, fill it up, you know, geo astro, geo method. We fill it up. Oh look, the dump's going by. Now that's funny. Oh, that's so, funny. <laughs> honey wagon. The honey wagon. So yeah, um, we fill up we fill up the black the back black tank just like we do the front tank, except we just do it with a hose through the window, and um, it works just like the fuss flush, the fuss flush, <laughs> and um, fuss flush. that's how we clean the back bathroom. A lot of people don't have two bathrooms, so you're not gonna know what the heck I'm talking about. But <laughs> but if you do, that's what he's talking about. <laughs> this is for you. I want to share one of our black tank stories, the most memorable one to date <laughs> after being on the months for on the months on the road for 28 months is we happen to have our sewer in our front yard versus in our backyard like it normally is. It was just the way the campground was set up and the, how big Big Bertha is. We had to pull in differently than most people do so that we wouldn't be on top of our other neighbors. So anyways, long story short, our sewer was in our front yard, literally. When you open the door, that's what you saw. <laughs> and this particular park had this like, the septic system right in between in the between rigs. In between every two rigs, there was actually yes. a septic system. And then it had this little wand thing that would pop up when it was time to dump it. So the maintenance guys would come and dump it. Well. The day we were leaving, they had not dumped it yet, and Lewis had not even realized that it was full because that's not really our job. We, we weren't used to that. And so he went to dump, and it, the, it was overflowing. It was done. Yay. And so it overflowed into our front yard. It was wonderful. <laughs> we had all our sewage outside. It stunk horribly. Our mat had to go in the trash. So that's our most memorable black tank story. If you have one, we would love to hear about it below because <laughs> everybody has a black tank story. And that's just one of them. We have quite a few. But... And definitely pick up um, Liz Wilcox's book. Yes. Tales of the Black Tank. She has a good one out Great there. Great read. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> and some of our friends are in there. Jessica and Robert from Exploring the Local Life. Kelly Wimp. So check that out. Definitely a good read. And... I think that's about it. So you guys can go out there and survive your first black tank experience or dumping <laughs> experience or dump station, whatever, wherever it is that you're flushing. Don't let that fear. I know it sounds crazy like, oh, I got to dump my stuff. But you know what? At the end of the day, it is nice to travel with your own toilet versus having to use public restrooms. So whoop, whoop. I think the, <laughs> the hashtag winning. Yeah, the pros outweigh the cons. And once you learn it, it's really not that bad. You put on gloves. Did we mention the gloves? 
another tip, make sure you wear some gloves, whether they're disposable or we have some thick ones that we kind of, Lewis keeps them aside, away from everything so that they don't contaminate anything. But yes, wear some gloves while you do this. And that's about it. Don't forget, my name is Sandra. And I'm Lewis with, with First, First Class, Class RV, RV Adventures, Adventures, where we support, support your dreams. dreams. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, in today's so. <laughs> drama of black tank <laughs> dumpiness, Dumpiness? Dumpiness. Does this apply to dumping? No. So let's scratch that. No, it doesn't. You don't have to put fresh yeah. water when you dump. Wait, stay here. Class RV Adventures.